Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is another 944 video day. We got a great video in store for the 83 944 here, but to get to it, Christian's gotta move out the S600. So let's start this video with a cold start of the twin turbo V12. Hope it starts. Yeah, right up. We still gotta figure out why this car is in limp mode. It's gonna go over to Kyle soon, so stay tuned for a video at some point, but for 3,000 bucks, you can't go wrong. V12, 500 horsepower monster for the price of a beat up Honda Civic. Ooh, look at that paint glowing in the sun. We still haven't even washed it, but this is the rare Designo Graphite Metallic, and it looks really good in the sun. Can't wait till we clean it and detail it, but Anyway, while Christian's backing that out, we gotta talk about something with this car. So today's an exciting day. It's the day that we're finally taking this 944 over to my buddy Garrett's to be repainted on a budget because we gotta keep the budget build in mind. But while we were backing it out and uh, looking into paint colors, we found something pretty interesting about this car. As you can see from the title, this car is actually extremely rare in that it has a very unique spec that technically on paper wasn't even possible for this model year of a 1983 944. Let me explain. Also, I should probably explain all those other 944s that you guys don't know about, but those will be at some point in a later future video. As you guys know, this car was crudely repainted a black, even though it started life as a brown, as you can see on the door jams and stuff. Brown, right? Brown door panels, cool. So I asked in the video revealing this car, like, hey guys, do you wanna see it repainted the black, the brown, or something crazy altogether? And just about everybody said, restore it to its original brown, we wanna see it brown. Yeah, this black repaint actually is a big deal because this brown color is supposedly very rare and I've never seen another 944 painted this color. Yeah, so get this. I was going through the 1983 uh, color codes to see like what kind of paints were out there and to find which paint this was. Sure enough, 1983, they listed Sable Brown as the brown option for 1983. So I looked up Sable Brown and I'm like, whoa, whoa, this is not the same brown. This is a metallic brown. It's way lighter of a brown compared to the door jams and engine bay. So I'm like, this is definitely not what we have. But then I look, it's the only available brown for 1983. So I'm like, okay, well that's awfully weird. So just in case, I look at 1982 models because this car was a very, very, very early 1983 production coming to the US. I look at 1982, sure enough, they have two brown color options. They have a Havana brown, which looks kind of like it, and they also have a sable black, they call it, but it's actually a brown. So today, when we got here, we quickly looked at the paint color code on the back VIN plate, and guys, if you didn't already, it'll tell you all the options you have with your car. All those codes at the bottom are options, so you can do an options decoder and see exactly what options your car came with. That's very useful to know if you have like limited slip, for example. But anyway, the, the color code is right here. LM9V. So I look up LM9V. Sure enough, it matches with the Mocha black, even though it's a really dark brown. So I'm like, what in the world? This car is a 1983 model year. That's the first year in the US. You didn't even have 82s in the US, except it has a 1982 paint color. So I looked it up online and I could not find like any 944s in Mocha Brown. But I did come across one thread from just a few months ago. Some guy said, hey guys, I have an 83 944 in Mocha Brown and I've never seen another one. Is this rare? So I read through the, what people said and they're like, whoa, this was only available in 1982. This is rare, I've never seen one, but most likely the Porsche factory just had some extra brown laying around the paint booth and they sprayed a couple cars in the Mocha Brown. So as far as I know, there's only one other one in the US. So this car could be a one of two and probably a one of one with the rest of the spec, probably almost one of a kind uh, because of that. So that changes things a little bit because this is where you guys gotta come in. Christian and I were thinking, let's take the original brown, make you guys happy, but add a little metallic flake to it, right? To make it pop, because otherwise a flat, dark brown, eh, it doesn't look the best. But do you see what we're saying, guys? If we add the metallic flake, we're technically altering this rare spec. What do you guys think? We need you to comment down below. The original mocha brown, as seen in the picture here, or do kind of a custom mocha brown, where we still retain that shade of brown, 
but Garrett adds a bunch of nice shiny flakes to it so it's a metallic mocha brown. Like we did last time with the S600 that he painted. Yeah, yeah, like we did with that. He just threw in some chips and it looked incredible. So guys, comment down below, but for today, he can at least get started with sanding it down, prepping it for paint. So as long as you guys comment fast, I'll be able to read the comment section before the final text message to him telling him what we want. So let's hope it starts, Christian. It's been a few months. Um, I feel bad for this car. It's kind of just been sitting here, but Garrett's been busy and just we've got other things going on in life. It's because we didn't do the timing belt and water pump and we wanted to do that before investing some money in cosmetics and you know, driving it all the way down to Garrett. Hopefully it doesn't blow up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The second it's done with paint though, it's uh, gonna get the timing belt and water pump done. Should probably do that before, but let's hope the car gods are on our side. Okay, we have life. Okay, come on baby, after months of sitting. Yeah, there we go, she got it. Like we mentioned in the reveal video, another thing that's so cool is it has the script door panels, which were only available on very, very early 1983 US production models. So these are actually worth a lot of money and they look cool. So that's another indication that this is a very early production car. All right, into the light again. Oh, manual heavy steering. That's the other thing about 1983s, but people actually like that even though it's a little hard at slow speeds. Ah, the deal we got on this car, I love it, I love it. If you guys remember the first one or two videos we filmed with it, uh, remember this car was like abandoned for two years, super weird. It had a ton of maintenance done at a shop and I'm guessing the dude didn't come to pick up the car or pay the bill. And after like a couple years, it became the property of the shops and they sent it to auction and we won it for $1,400. Wait a second, that's not the free Porsche. That's not the $0 Porsche. Get this, it came with the really rare factory sports seats. We ended up selling those seats for $1,850. So therefore, 1,400 minus 1,850 equals minus $450, plus like some fees and other things like that. I mean, we're in this car $0, probably under $0. Couldn't pass it up and now we're on the process of making it look really presentable again. And by the time it's done with this repaint, it's going to look amazing. And let's go see what Garrett thinks. Let's hit the road. Before we can continue, we need to thank the sponsor of today's video, Upstart. So we all know debt is usually a bad thing, something you want to avoid, right? That's pretty common sense. But unfortunately, it's easier said than done. And over 40% of Americans find themselves stuck in debt. The average American has $6,000 of revolving credit at an average interest rate of over 14%. No wonder people get stuck in debt and just crippled by this. And unfortunately, a lot of times when you start going down that road of debt and owing money, it's hard to get out of it. But that's where Upstart can help. Upstart is a way that you can consolidate all of your high interest debts into one simple monthly payment. And the best news is, it can all be done online. And Upstart also considers your employment and your income to find you a smarter online rate so they don't just look at your credit score. And in just five minutes, you can check your rate upfront online from the comfort of your home. Upstart also works very fast. And if you're wondering, the loans range from $1,000 to $50,000. Support those who support us by checking them out today at upstart.com slash JR Garage. Once again, that is upstart.com slash JR Garage. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we're leaving the hood off. Uh, so I'm gonna be rolling down the road with no hood, probably getting some funny looks, but we're gonna grab the hood from over here, throw it in the back of the truck. Gotta get this one out of gear. La -da 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 -da. Nothing to see here, nothing to see here. Not another 944 sports seats. Not at all. Push. We figured it may be easy enough for Garrett to paint it with it off the car, and it saves us time getting it back on, and maybe him sanding off the nasty, uh, goo is easier with it off the car. So first stop before we can head down there, we gotta grab some gas. We're at like an eighth of a tank and I don't wanna risk running out of gas. Get the Get Upside app. If you don't already have it, you get free cash back when you purchase gas at thousands of stations across the US. Here's a nice little like 40 cents off a gallon. Well, never mind. the fuel gauge was lying to me. It only took four gallons and it says it was nearly out of fuel. So, so that's another thing we gotta fix. All right, on my way, but I think doing this in the peak afternoon heat may have been a bad idea. Uh, it's like 110 degrees outside. I hope the car holds up. I'm getting a lot of weird looks. I'm in a car with a beat up paint job with no hood, no license plate, and a guy talking to a camera. People are staring. What do you think? What are the odds of me going 30 miles without getting pulled over? Mm, I don't know about this one. But the car is staying good on temperature and running good so far. So you got this baby. Oh, there are the cooling fans. All right, those work. Buddy.
just rolled up to Garrett's place back on the channel. How you okay, doing? How you doing? Bam. So if you guys remember, Garrett did the S600 paint job a little over a year ago, I guess now. It was a while ago. It, it, great. I was just looking at it the other day and the bright metallic uh, blue really pops and looks yeah. good. So we're thinking we want to do something similar on this. The, the comments on this video is going to determine if we go with a flat brown, a metallic brown, or even get this. Garrett just said you can do a pearl brown. Really? I mean, we'll base cut it that kind of factory brown. Right. Draw a little pearl over it. I mean, we'll do a little sample. We can do like a pearl metallic sample. You guys can kind of choose what will look best. Kind of leave that up to you guys again. Can you so, think of any OEMs that have a pearl, pearl brown? brown? I mean, probably like new mm -hmm. fancy expensive exotic cars. You can do anything. The last brown I sprayed was a metallic. That like, looked really good. Out, it turned out freaking awesome on that little C10. Uh -huh. so, but did it have I brown mean, interior also? Brown on brown? It, it did. It had, it, it had that it had that butter, that butter interior. I do remember that on your Instagram. Yeah, that was a really clean metallic brown. So we're leaning toward like a metallic. It's like, I don't know you only live once so why just do a flat brown it's just so boring so why not spice it up a little bit while staying true to the mocha original shade but doing a little something to spice it up so i think that could be perfect and another good news it made it here all the way to mesa 30 miles i didn't get pulled over no plates no hood no nothing AC. no ac i'm no overheating. so hot right now it was that was a lot but yeah no it didn't overheat at all ran good it ran really surprisingly well actually we stopped by kyle's and he plugged up uh, two vacuum lines that were leaking and now the idle is perfect he used to idle at 800 rpms and it would shake a little bit but now it's up to a thousand perfect idle so yeah. that vacuum leak was fixed so hopefully great paint job and then we can tackle that timing belt and water pump because then this car will definitely deserve it and we're gonna love this thing again heck yeah so yeah the door jams they're uh to make sure they're good. Okay, so yeah, yeah there's that. I remember last time that? with the S600, we brought you like a silver door on a blue car oh, yeah, or yeah, something. Yeah. Luckily, it's already base brown. So. There we go. Yeah, this is easier than the S600. <laughs> I remember that, the silver doors we brought you. That was funny. Some things like showing through the previous repaint, is this a sign that maybe like some body work was done on these lines? Or, uh, um, I mean, or... it's definitely been resprayed before. I mean, you kind of see all the, the sand scratches and whatnot. We'll be removing all this old paint with a, with a 120 gray on the DA. And then really just kind of get it prepped and get a 2K primer on her, base coat, clear coat. Sweet. Get it all polished up. I know you always text me a bunch of updates, like when it's going in and sanding down and then the primer. So yeah, please have, send me whatever. Yeah, I'll have some good pictures and videos for you. So One other video with this car, right? So we did an oil change when we got it. Yeah, fresh and... oil change. And clean the engine. I mean, it's sparkling. I mean, I spent a few hours making this thing look a lot better than it was. It was covered. It was sitting for two years. But the paint job. It's just going to make this thing come back to life. Yeah, the wheels and tires are good. I mean, this thing's ready to go. It's, it's got a new lease on life coming up. This paint job is going to transform the car, I think, even more than the S600 did. Yeah, this this will be nuts before and after. All right, well, I'll grab some before clips so that we have them when it's done. All right, guys, final comment down below. Pearl, metallic, flat brown, or some other complete shade of brown? I don't think so. We're going to keep this shade, but comment what you want to do to spice it up. Thanks again, Garrett. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll be back when we're back from Montana in, like, I don't know, a week or two. See you then. There's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right